Hello, all the gorgeous strong ladies. One more time. <laughs> this video is for you. In case you are single and wondering why on earth a goddess like you, God's gift to any man, are still single. It's probably because you are so smart, so strong, so independent that there are no real men left on this planet who deserve you, who can, can handle you, right? Because there are a lot of, lot of ladies like that that I meet in my seminars, in the private consultations and also in the circle of my friends and acquaintances. This is a trend now, a single lady super strong and finding a lot of excuses why she's single. It's because there are no real men out there. And I wish that finally I would find a real man who is stronger than me, who can tame me and who can control me. This is my desire. And this is the reason why I'm single because there are no men like that. This is a typical way how women tend to think strong, self-sufficient, independent woman. This is the downside of such women. And these women are great. We need women like that. But the reason why they are single, that they might not be aware of, which is the reason why I'm sharing this message, is because the place is already taken. There is no uh, vacancy of being in relationship with this woman because she is already in relationship with her ego. That is the ego speaking and wondering why on earth am I single because I'm such a catch. And I can tell you what kind of man this woman want. And if you're one of these women, then let me know if I guess correct, if I'm on the spot. So if you are a strong, self-sufficient, smart, sexy, everything woman, great deal, any man's dream woman, then you most likely want a man who is super strong, super good looking, athletic, he trains, right? And he takes care of himself and he has good manners and he's sophisticated and he's a true gentleman and he's really smart and successful in his career. He's obviously wealthy and he really, really wants relationships. So he's a really serious man, honest and loyal and he can't wait to be with you. So that's the kind of guy every strong and independent and successful woman wants. Here comes the problem. Do you really think that a guy like that is sitting somewhere, God knows where, and dreaming of a woman like you, who is in relationship with her ego and who wants to have the power struggle every single day, who wants to find a man who can control her, who can overpower her every single day. Just think from the guy's perspective, right? If he's all gorgeous, smart and successful, sexy and wealthy, so he works a lot, he has probably high level job, which causes him a lot of stress. So do you really think that at the end of the day, he comes home to his probably fancy apartment and he dreams of a woman that would cause him constant drama and constant headache by trying to control him, to overpower him, and that from every, that day from day he have to struggle with you, to control you. Do you really think he wants that? Seriously? <laughs> I I've met men like that, but I never met a guy who desires a woman like that. So this is an illusion your ego has created to keep you in a relationship with your ego because this is the lower masculine aspect that you are embracing if you are thinking like that and if you truly believe you will find true love like that love that brings you peace and harmony and growth that's an illusion and it's time to wake up from this illusion if you really want uh, actual love and real relationship conscious relationship not based on subconscious traumas and not based on selfish love, which is all about you, what I can receive. And this person should satisfy my needs. Are you looking for love or are you looking for an employee? Because the true love, the actual love, holistic love and conscious relationship 
is not about that. It's about the mutual growth and it's about the love you want to share with the other person. Not what you want to take. If you want to take, then you're not ready for this yet. <laughs> Girl loves a rich man, not a man loves her. That's, um, I'm just, every woman almost uh, wants a uh, man who is stable and financially independent and that's just the way it is, like every man wants a woman who is beautiful. I mean, this is not going to ever change. And then we compromise, depending on where do we stand in the market ourselves, I guess. The, the harsh reality, the ugly truth. The point is, if you are a strong woman and you want true love, a man who will love you and appreciate you, then stop being in relationship with your ego. You are the one who have to control yourself first not to embrace the lowest masculine aspects within yourself because you will not find what your heart desires. So this is my message. And a lot of women, strong women, independent, self-sufficient women, think that being feminine is being weak. You know, look at all those women, they depend on men and they are so weak. I can't be like that because I've suffered, I've been hurt, I've seen men hurting women and leaving them and dumping them and, and, and nope, I can't be like that. So I've got to be all self-sufficient and everything, everything. Being feminine is a weakness, right? Let me share a story with you. Eagle, the strongest bird, a symbol of wisdom in many cultures. Would you call eagle weak? I don't think you would. I, 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 I don't. So let, guess what? Eagle is the only bird that is not scared of storm. Not like men are the storm. No, that's not the point. But just wait. Hold on. When the storm comes, eagle flies right into the storm and just soars. Enjoying the feeling of just flying without efforts because eagle is confident and strong enough to do that. When all the other birds are hiding, scared and terrified, eagle allows itself to just be, just surrender to the storm because it's not scared of it. it eagle knows the storm will not hurt him. Eagle trusts. Eagle knows that about any storm there is peace. An eagle surrenders. And remember this story when you are afraid to surrender to masculine energy. It's not because you are weak. It's because you are so strong that you can trust fully someone. And it all starts with the relationship you have within you. Each of us, regarding of our gender, are made of two polarities, the feminine and the masculine. And the relationship you have with these polarities reflects the relationship you have on the outside with women or men. So if you want the outside change, you have to change the inside. You have to start studying yourself, who you are, what you're made of, and become aware. This is where the masculine energy starts and this is where it ends and this is where it flows into the feminine energy and this is the highest and lowest aspect of each of these energies and balance them. Everything in this world is based on polarity, it's pure physics and only when there is a polarity two different parts are held together. Same works for relationship. So if you are embracing the masculine energy of being controlling and the lowest masculine energy, <laughs> important, being controlling and demanding and always willing to struggle because you're driven by your ego, then you will never be able to attract a real man that you want. You will always clash because if you want to attract a real man, a higher aspect of the masculine, which is grounded, confident, focused, responsible and loyal and caring and everything, then you got to embrace the highest aspect of your feminine energy. And the highest aspect is about the wisdom, about the inner peace, 
about ability to feel with your heart center, ability to heal yourself first and to give this healing to the ones around you. It's about being one with the universe, understanding the laws of universe. So these are few of the highest aspects of feminine energy. And this highest aspect of feminine energy is wise. It observes without drama and chooses back the best masculine higher aspect that has chosen her, have seen her. The first thing every woman wants to be seen in relationship. So if you choose a man for you, then don't complain later on that he's not giving you the attention, he's not seeing you, he's not understanding you. Because he never chose you. If a man sees you, he chooses you, he conquers you, you can choose him back. You have a choice, free will. You also have a choice not to choose him back. But if you choose him back, you know it's going to work. Because you've chosen each other. You see each other as you are. You feel the soul, the heart, everything. Not just the looks. So when you have chosen a man for polarity to work, there must be mutual trust. And trust comes when you are seen and understood and emotionally fulfilled and there is an intimacy between you. Then comes the trust and then the feminine aspect opens, ready to let in the masculine into the heart and to surrender fully to its love. And that's not a weakness. Being vulnerable is not a weakness, it's a gift. How many people do you know who has that gift nowadays? Everyone have built walls and walls and walls and ego is the, the, the driving force. How many vulnerable people you know that is saying, I'm ready to be hurt by love because there is nothing greater than the love and I'm strong enough to survive. That's it, right? That's the, the wonderful gift. It's not weakness. So it's about polarities. And balancing these polarities within you is where it starts. And everything on the outside is just a reflection of what you have done, what's inside. Another aspect of polarities uh, is that when we think what we are looking for the outs on the outside woman, we are looking for the reflection of our inner man. So we can connect better with him and that's our strength because we have become more stronger this way. And the men are looking for a woman, a reflection of their inner feminine so they can connect better with their heart center, with their intuition, with the higher dimensions. They can become a better version of themselves. So we need each other. That's, the, that's, that's pure physics again. Because we are not separated. We are the extension of each other. We are a team. We need each other in order to reach the highest aspects of spirituality, to uh, become the best versions of ourselves. We need a mirror because that's our human nature. We can't see ourselves. And it is in the relationship when the most work is done. And that's why many super spiritual people are not in relationships. Because it's the hardest there is. Psychologists are saying to love an other human being is the hardest task on earth. That's why many people choose not to, especially nowadays. Because it is not convenient to see all your flaws every single day. How annoying is that? It's easier to distract. To be alone is always easier. When you are in a relationship, there will always be resistance and that is normal because it's hard and we don't want our brain is super lazy and our human nature is always to look for the easiest way so we will always have resistance but if we overcome this resistance with our will with the understanding how it works and why is it important then we grow then we transform then we become the best version of ourselves and this is answer to those men who i have heard personally who have asked me do you believe women need men nowadays? Because men ha have started to wonder. They feel we don't need them. And where does the trust for men come when he's in relationship with a woman? The trust comes 
when he feels that he is needed, that his guidance and directions and knowledge and decisions and the things he can contribute as a masculine aspect, it is needed. If a man feels that nothing is needed that he can give, he shuts down. If a woman feels that she is not being seen, understood, her needs, her emotional needs are not understood, she shuts down. Because the principle of the feminine is to receive fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. And the principle of the masculine is to is the emptiness. So the masculine wants to give. And it's a perfect match, right? As long as they trust each other. And trust is what creates the polarity. And polarity is the chemistry, the key to the passion and to intimate and passionate sexual relationship that will keep the relationship together. And polarity, strong polarity, creates tension on the surface. Pure physics again. When there is tension, nothing, nothing can come and ruin the relationship. There is no third person who can come in because you have a great polarity. So it's all about the polarity. And message to all those wonderful, gorgeous ladies, tame your ego. Because I know you want true love. It's a human's, every human's primal emotional need is the desire for love. If you're a human, then it applies to you. If you're a robot, then it doesn't. No matter what you say, it's your ego that might say, I don't need anyone. Your heart desires love. And the love is out there. It is possible for anyone. But it starts with you. Do you love your inner man? Or do you think he's weak? Because if you feel all the men you meet are weak, then you think your inner man is weak. And you should work with balancing your polarities, with understanding your polarities. Then your reality will change. And then eventually you will attract a wonderful man who will come and love you, share his love with you, and you will be able to share your love with him. You can only attract what you are and you can only receive what you're ready to give. That's how it works. Nothing personal. So this was my message today. Friday, the day of Venus. And Venus is the planet responsible for beauty and love and relationship. And also the abundance. Greetings. And if you want to learn more about polarities and about holistic love and conscious relationship. And also holistic sexuality. Um, contact me apply for some of the group seminars I'm having or uh, you can also book a private consultation with me and we can work together to look at your individual situation. Have a great Friday, shine your light, spread your love and I wish everyone to find the partner to merge in the divine unity of masculine and feminine. Mwah. Bye!